Okay, people, um, you all wanted it, so I will give you what you want. This is the second tutorial I made tonight. Um, hello, Mary. Hello, Mary. Uh, this is a tutorial uh, teaching you guys how to make my Rory, uh, this the like shiny balls kind of Cinema 4D thing. And this is going to be the Cinema 4D tutorial, not the Photoshop tutorial, because the Photoshop part is kind of easy. So, open up your Cinema 4D. Right now, it's on every, everything just basic, I haven't changed anything. So, you want to go onto your render settings, render setting, um, and for me, I'm going to load my preset, but it's quality, now it's licking my face. Um, and on this one, I have changed the output to film video. If you don't know what I'm doing, click on output, click on this, and then go onto film video, HDTV 1080, uh, 24. Everything will set itself. Want to save? Change it to PNG, and elf channel on and off, unless you want a background. And then you want glow and illumination, and then you want the effect. You want to add the effect ambient occlusion. These are both very important. Once you've done that, it should look a bit like this, and we can start doing our effects now. Before I get into this, I just want to let you guys know that you'll need a couple of things to do this uh, but they're both going the download is going to both be in the description if you click on the video made by acres hd for both of them in his video there'll be download links for each pack and then you could use those packs on this tutorial okay firstly you want to make your text so let's go on to if you don't know how to make basic 3d text you're going to have to find another tutorial no text very simple write my name in Rory, awesome, awesome. That is looking at face. Uh, font, change it to. Uh, let's use Zyrod because that's all I use in the video. Uh, and then this is very important. You want to change the ow, the horizontal spacing. So, but each letter is touching. So like that. It just looks much better. Okay, change your depth of the text to. 80, and then copy and paste at uh, a uh, command V, sorry, command C, command V, copy and paste it, and then change the depth of that to 40. Bring it into the middle about using the movement arrows, and you'll be good to go for the next step. On this, on the on the text is in the middle of the bigger text. Go onto caps, cap, fill a cap. Cap, fill a cap on both sides just because it looks nicer. Okay, so that's your basic text. If you render now, um, uh, there'll be absolutely no light because I've put glowing illumination on, so this is going to be black. Bear that in mind. Okay, now, what you want to do is you want to go onto your file, load materials. Now, once you've downloaded the Acres HD glossy materials pack, you find that material pack, and for me I've put it in a file in Cinema 4D, and it's right here. Open it up, and it will come up with all the uh, textures. Now, you drag your black onto the front, and your purple onto the back. So it looks something like that. It's very nice. It already looks pretty nice in my opinion, even without rendering it. Alright, so that's the ba that's the very basic step done. Now, you want to go hold down on this th on this light with the arrows coming out of it. Hold down on your left click and go down to sky. A massive like dark blue background will appear. It's completely normal. Then what you want to do? Double click this box down here to make a new texture. Double click on that texture. Go on to color, texture, load image. Now, you're going to have to find this HDRI pack 1 in your downloads or wherever you saved the file in the second uh, Cinema 4D Acres HD pack. You'll get all of these. I'm not sure which one I used, uh, but I'm just going to use a completely random one. Uh, let's use one that looks like a studio, because they usually look the best. It, they just kind of look like warehouses. Oh, let's find the studio. That, that's too bright. No, not that. 19. This is good. Perfect. Okay, open that up. Yep. 
you want to press yes on that. Now you'll have a material. Now drag this material onto your sky. And already, once you render it out, sorry man, is it in the face? Um, your text will render out with your background and you'll get a bit of illumination and a very glossy look to it. Okay, this is all this is all good. Now what I usually do, um just oh there goes my just to make the background to my preference, if you click on sky, go onto the rotate tool, which is here, and then just drag the green axes along, just to find a good background. Render that. See what this looks like. That oh, looks pretty good. Right, so um, from here, this is where you want to make the balls. <laughs> balls. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, on the cube, hold down the left click, go on to sphere. Uh, make sure it's on the up and down thing, the movement tool. Okay, just move it above the texture so you can see it. Oh, Harry, not now. Uh, go on to Mograph, uh, cloner. Now drag your sphere into the cloner and make sure on cloner, go on to mode and turn, change it to grid array. Now I just want to adjust these, I usually make it four for each. Just so I have a bit of um leeway each way. And then turn each one up to just to see so that's about six hundred and eighty one. Copy, paste it into each one. So now they're equally spaced apart. Okay, now obviously if you run this it's just gonna look absolutely horrible. I'm just gonna let you guys know now. It's got no texture to it. That looks pretty bad. Actually, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's not a tutorial. Okay, now you want to go on to MoGraph Effector Random. And this will already make it all random. Click on Random, go to Parameter, and then change the position, X, Y, and Z, just to something that suits your preference. I usually make them quite far apart. Okay, there are way too many balls. Uh, cloner. Mother. Now he's back. And a mother. Change the number down to three. Okay, perfect. That's good. Okay, now uh, when you go onto random, you want to go onto parameter, scale, uniform scale. Check that, and then change it to a scale you like. So for me, that's good. But bear in mind, you can go onto sphere and change the radius of the spheres. So they're generally smaller or generally bigger. I personally like it generally smaller, though some of them are way too different. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Uh, actually, no, it's not. I want to change the random effector a bit and make them a bit closer together. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, zoom in a bit. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. That's pretty G. Spin around. Yes, that's perfect. Okay. Now, uh, using your Acres HD uh, glossy pack, take your noir black and drag it onto the cloner. This will just make all the spheres black. And exit uh, render that. Wait for it. And you should be good to go. Uh, I actually put a. I think I put a floor down. I don't remember. So you want to hold down the light button, take the floor, put it down a bit, uh, let's give it a glossy white, and I think I moved it this way and moved it up a bit. I think, no I didn't do that. I don't remember, let's have a look, let's see what I did. No I didn't, oh yes I did have a floor. Did I? I don't remember, you have to watch the video. But what does look quite good is if you add a floor uh, behind the camera or wherever you're looking, it kind of stops the reflection so it doesn't look too reflected. So render that out. So it doesn't reflect the whole sky. For me it kind of looks better. Unless it's obviously shiny, in which case it will just be shinier, which I made mine, so this will be ah, really scratchy. See, look at that. That looks way better. Um, obviously, you may want a bit of luminance, so with the background, you might want to change the image to, let's just say, uh, let's make it a city, which is number 
33 if you're wondering. This usually looks awesome. Slam a door, why don't you? This usually looks very cool. Yes, look at that. Look how awesome that looks. And there we go. That is my tutorial on how to make awesome looking text. Of course, you can add in a light to wherever you prefer. Add one there, see what that looks like. In fact, we want a universal light, so like the Render that out. See what that looks like. This should look awesome. And then, pretty much from here, it's just your personal preference, your personal customization. Obviously, you will change your name, you might change the color, stuff like that. And there we go, look at that. Absolutely perfect. That is my tutorial on how to make awesome looking glossy text with uh, floating meta balls, or not meta balls, like uh, dark matter in the background, and then a luminance background with a backdrop and personally it looks awesome I'm not going to do the Photoshop part of the tutorial that's just too difficult but that's just basically how I did it um, I used a couple more effects uh, like afterwards using thing but yeah that's how you make my effect it's not obviously the same I tried to make it similar but yeah that's how you do it thanks for watching guys and I will talk to you later